Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about basic polynomial operations. This is a critical thinking question. So, before we're given this, simplify, and then classify by degree and number of terms. Okay? And they give us this. 2x plus 3x squared times 4x minus 5. Okay? Well, first thing I do is I want to simplify this all the way. Okay? Nothing I can do with that 2x, but this 3x squared I can distribute to both parts here. Okay? To both parts. So, 2x comes down. Okay, 3x squared times 4x, right, is a 12x to the third power. Okay, then 3x squared times a negative 5 is a minus 15x squared. Okay, so now I'm going to rearrange this to have my highest degrees first, okay, and combine all like terms if there are, but there's not. So we have 12x to the third, that comes down right here. Then we bring down the minus 15x squared, right there, and then plus 2x. So now we have that final answer. We have this, this is what's simplified, 12x to the third, minus 15x squared, my, uh, plus 2x. Now, our highest degree here is the third power, so we call that, we're classifying this, this is a cubic. Okay, cubic. And then we have three distinct terms here, it's a trinomial. So cubic trinomial. Trinomial. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> trinomial. Okay. So that's it. <clears throat> so quick recap here. Let me ask. Quick recap. We're given 2x plus 3x squared times 4x minus 5. But the parentheses here is just next to the 3x squared. Nothing to do with that 2x. Okay? So we first need to simplify this. So we distribute the 3x squared to both parts. That gave me 12x to the third minus 15x squared. I then brought down just that 2x. Now I rearranged this to have my highest degrees first. It's easier to classify that way. Highest degree was the third power, so I brought that, the 12x to the third, then the minus 15x squared, then the 2x. So we're finished our simplification at this point, which is just 12x to the third minus 15x squared plus 2x. Now we had to classify this. Well, our highest degree is the third power, so that's a cubic. All right, so we have a cubic right there, cubic highest degree. Then we have three distinct terms. Now there are three, but that the three different terms means the trinomial, okay? So our classification here of this polynomial is a cubic trinomial, and that is our final answer.